For this problem, we want to solve for x in the following equation. First, we can factor out the denominator of the first fraction. Now we have 5x plus 13 over x minus 4 times 2x plus 3 plus x plus 2 over x minus 4 equals negative x minus 6 over 2x plus 3. To remove the fractions, we want to multiply both sides by x minus 4 and 2x plus 3. x minus 4 cancels out on the left side twice, and 2x plus 3 cancels out on the left side once and on the right side once. Now we have 5x plus 13 plus 2x squared plus 7x plus 6 equals negative x squared minus 2x plus 24. If we add the like terms on the left side, we get 2x squared plus 12x plus 19 equals negative x squared minus 2x plus 24. To solve for x, we want the right side of the equation to be equal to 0. So we're going to subtract negative x squared minus 2x plus 24 from both sides giving us 3x squared plus 14x minus 5 equals 0. We can factor out the left side to become 3x minus 1 times x plus 5, which is equal to 0. Now we have the equations 3x minus 1 equals 0 or x plus 5 equals 0. For the first equation, we'll get x equals one third. For the second equation, we'll get x equals negative five. Now we have to check for extraneous solutions. For an irrational equation like this one, an extraneous solution is when the denominators are equal to zero. So we have the equation x minus four cannot equal zero, and we have two x plus three cannot equal zero. For the first equation, we add four to both sides to get x cannot equal 4. For the second equation, we subtract 3 from both sides to get 2x cannot equal negative 3. If we divide both sides by 2, we get x cannot equal negative 3 over 2. Since neither of our solutions are 4 or negative 3 over 2, x equals 1 third and x equals negative 5 are both solutions to our problem.